Okay, guys. Now, I took my jack, okay? This is the handle from my jack right here. See how that goes down on the bottom of the jack, tighten it up? This is the end where the handle used to be. All I did was took the rubber boot off it, and it slides right over top of this. It'll fit right over that. Run that down about three-fourths of the way. Once that castle nut is hot, let it on there for a good 10 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever it takes. But now, as you see, I can turn that with my hand. I have no problem turning that whole castle nut now. It went from being super tight, and you will need a nice size breaker bar. Now, this one here is from Harbor Freight. It's a cheap one. I've actually had to replace it three times. This is the third time. I just had to go and get another one. That's why it took so long. But while I was gone, I had somebody keep an eye on my, my little butane torch. That's all it is. There was about half a bottle left, maybe a little less. That's how much it took. But you can pick these up at Walmart for like five bucks for two of them. So that ain't bad. Cheaper than settling. But got it up hot enough. That castle nut is now ready to come off. Now that that's ready to come off, I will start taking the rest of the bolts off, the tire and everything else. I will get that castle nut a little further before I take the tire off. Alright, I will update this a little bit later.